Hi, my name is James, and today I'm going to be talking about simple airway opening manoeuvres. If you're asked to assess a patient who's acutely unwell, part of your emergency assessment is to start by looking at A for airway. And these three manoeuvres are part of that key assessment to relieve any obstruction of the airway so you can go on and assess the rest of the patient. I'll be talking about head tilt, chin lift and jaw thrust. We'll talk about the indications for each of those and I'll demonstrate on the mannequin how to do them as well. I'll start by talking about head tilt and chin lift. This is an easy way of opening up the airway if you have someone who's got an obstruction. You'll find this by them snoring or gurgling. If they have an oxygen mask, you may see that they are not fogging the mask and therefore you need to do something to open up the airway. If you have concerns that somebody has a cervical spine injury, so they've suffered trauma and you're assessing them, a head tilt is contraindicated as you'll see later on our model, there's quite a lot of movement of the neck and you don't want to exacerbate a cervical spine injury by doing this. If a head tilt and a chin lift is contraindicated, you may want to consider a jaw thrust as a good way of lifting the mandible up and relieving any obstruction that might be caused by the tongue obstructing the oropharynx. This is a helpful model to understand what we're trying to achieve with any airway opening manoeuvres. We can see on this cross section through the head and neck, the tongue is highlighted in white. If somebody is unconscious, the muscles that hold the tongue in place are relaxed and therefore the tongue falls to the back of the throat, obstructing the passage of air from out here, either through the nose or the mouth, can't get through to the trachea and thence down into the lungs. With a head tilt and a chin lift, everything will be moved into that position with your fingers just supporting the mandible under there. With a jaw thrust, you're not moving the head and not moving the neck because of concerns about cervical spine injury, but a jaw thrust will move the whole tongue upwards like that, allowing passage of air down into the lungs. I'm now going to demonstrate the three manoeuvres we can use to open someone's airway. Firstly, the head tilt, which is always combined with a chin lift. So with one hand on the patient's forehead, two fingers underneath the patient's chin, I'm going to push down with my left hand and keep the chin raised with the two fingers of my right hand. You can also see in this position on this model how it affects the bones of the neck and that's why we wouldn't use this for someone who we had concerns about a C-spine injury. The other airway manoeuvre that we could consider is the jaw thrust. So I'm going to put two fingers on each side of the mandible underneath the angle of the mandible, thumb on the cheeks and in this position I can lift the mandible forward to help bring the tongue forward and stop obstructing the airway.